Right, I'm now in St. Margaret's Church. Just going to do the video now in case anyone turns up. Because they've got security, it usually sets off an alarm when you open the door. So I'm going in now. There's a big old wooden door to the tower, I should imagine. It's got some markings on it. Um, where people have done their initials in the past. 1747 up there. 17 something there. Probably kids probably. <sighs> Big old door. Right, I'll shut the door in case any swifts get in here and get trapped. I won't bother with them. I won't bother with uh, put, trying to put the lights on. Church guides. There's a lot of um, little guides here, look, to do with the memorials and the tombstones. So they're all handy. I'll, I'll, I'll put some money in the pot in a minute for that. Got some nice little cups at St Margaret's Church, Fuller's Bench, and a preaching cross. Five pound each. I haven't brought any. I haven't got any money anyway. I haven't brought my checkbook or anything. I have got some money, but I might get it another time. If you've not enjoyed the church, why not walk around the surrounding history? The old mill house, the pert um, old rectory, um, the cemetery, Tucker's old quarry, the court farm, St. Margaret's, Cook's Alms houses, Splat Mill. So that's like a little. I'll probably take a picture of that. Um. I'll probably take a picture of that. So that's handy and all these guys, isn't it? So when I do the the write up, I can talk about all that and add that to the video uh, with captions and stuff. We've even got um, burial plots here. Look, once again, I'll take the. Oh no, it's something to do with my family tree, but uh, I'll do a, a picture of that burials prior to 1907. The graveyard opposite the church was opened in 1907 and the majority of burials continue there. Hmm, that's handy to know, isn't it? This is a very informative church. Some of you go in and you don't know, uh, and there's a good map as well, look. Possibly of um, other places that might be handy. I'll get my glasses out in a minute. And I'll read, I'll read some of that. <sighs> In loving memory of Gustav Richard Bush, the only son of rector of this parish who was drowned while bathing at the point Bay of Plenty, New Zealand, born December 1902, died November 1924. So he was 22 when he died then. <sighs> A nice stone glass window. which is the main altar, there's two, it's, usually it's the one further back in it. Carved benches, lots of different shapes on there. Yeah, lots of different, I'll take some pictures in a minute. 
Yeah, lots of interesting shapes. What's that say? 1561. There was a bloke that did a lot of carving around this way. It might be the same man. It's probably in the booklet. Once again, I'll refer to that when I'm doing the, um, the video work. Rectors of Spaxton. Spiritual lives have been enriched by these rectors for 675 years. That's like quite a nice little um, wooden thing, isn't it? Let's just see if we've got any Isaacsons. I just have a quick look, because we did have... Um, some did move about. There's probably others within the tree, but I don't... It's the Isaac sons mainly that I are they enough they're not enough vertical order either. So I'm what I'm doing is um using my viewfinder <laughs> and putting the magnifier on so I can uh just see. That's a really good board. I expect they had a service this morning, so there's no point getting here any earlier. Twelve o'clock's a good time to go. Before the afternoon lot. <sighs> yeah. Maybe with a big sign like that, quite often it's um, more modern people. The modern type approach. When it's a big sign like that. There we've got some nice images in that old stained glass window there. And then in here we've got lots of people in the ground. Here lie the body of uh, something, I think it could be Jane, the daughter of Thomas Crid. Well I can only see Crid, I mean it could be Cridge. Cridgeland. 10th of December, she died. Um, 1621. Critland, Jane Critland, daughter of Thomas. Critland, yeah, Critland. There's um, people killed in action there. Died of wounds. Um, just see if there's any. Some died in France, Italy. Um, Yeah, their stained glass windows are good. Some of them might be modern, especially that one there. This looks like it's been done up, this bit here. I wonder if this is the main altar. Something tells me it is. Here lies the body of Thomas Cridland. 1610. He died. I said there'd be lots of information in those little pamphlets. Uh, I'll put a bit of money in the pot in a minute. Oh look, they've got a microphone. Uh, type of wagon ceiling, blue. No huge um, decorations on it or anything, but that doesn't mean there is on the other, the other one. There's some embossments. Doesn't mean there wasn't in the past though. So a lot of these were whitewashed, these churches, you know, whitewashed. Nice old organ there. There's Sheila. Yeah, no, this would be the main altar bit here. Um, And then we've got, oh look at that fantastic candle holder. My goodness, that is absolutely brilliant, isn't it? I wonder, 
I bet it's electric now. It might not. No, it's got real candles on it. Yeah, they feel like wax. Look at the fruit. That is one hell of a lovely carved candle. It's a big candlestick holder, isn't it? Six foot tall at least. Now who have we got here? This chancel tomb of the 15th century Sir John and Lady Cecily Hill. H-Y-L-L-E. He's got no sword and he's got a dog. Or is that a sheep? Or is that a lion? Not sure. Ah, you're quite well preserved and a dog at this end. Hi there, you two. That's got like a little person. There are um, booklets on, on all these sculptures, by the way, which I can add to the video when I put it online. I can add these captions. Yeah, look like they're kind of very small, aren't they? I think they must have been smaller in those days. Here we got the Ten Commandments. Thou shalt... Um, oh, I, don't, I, can't read, I can't read that. They have a nice, big... I don't know how old that would be. That looks pretty old. That doesn't. That looks recent. Recent window there. And another candlestick holder. So I've got two. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not. Thou shalt do no murder. And I'm doing this without that any artificial lighting. turn off for a minute and then come back on again just in case I suddenly lose all what I've done. Back on again because so that's happened to me before you know I've done a load of recording and um, then it disappears it's so annoying if you've done half an hour of recording God, that's a massive window isn't it? It's very like I said it's very lucky to have all its windows it'll tell me more about the stained glass in the booklets of course I'm not doing any of that today. That can be added and I can put information about everything. <sighs> Lord's Prayer. Which we all know by heart, my generation do anyway. We had assembly every morning. Sometimes we, twice a day, we'd have one at the beginning of the school and one at the end. I'm surprised someone's not come in yet. Right, I'm going to t start taking some photos now, everyone. I'll just do one more little walk round. Because if there's a lovely stained glass window at the back there um, where the bells are as well. The one you can see from outside. That looks a nice window. And of course the embossed ceiling on that side. Over and out.